hello there. It's so lovely for you to join us here at In Your Element TV. I'm Goldie and we love having you join us and come on a adventurous journey where we'll be sharing tools about conscious colours and painting. So we'll be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. Conscious colours are about using colours in awareness to change our moods, our behaviour and how we feel, also known as vibration. Learn more about conscious colours in our video series. So remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. Paint, paint and more paint. Use the different colours to paint consciously related to what you want to experience. So today I thought I would bring out my painting tools and paint with you. So I have my paint tools, painting tools here with different colours. I hope you guys can see at home we have colours such as red, we have some yellow, we have purple, pink, and then we have some, we can't take it out, some green as well. So lots of colours here that we have, and I have my water and paint brushes, and then I have my palette here as well, which I have used before. As you can see, I've been doing some amazing painting at home, and um, yeah, there's some residual paint here. And then let's see, because I did bring some glitter with me, but let's see how that gets on today as well. So different colours. So today I thought I'd come on a journey with you and paint. I haven't, I haven't um, made one. I thought I'd make one earlier, but I thought I'd try with you. We're going to paint a beautiful butterfly. So I'm going to pick two colours. So I'm going to pick today purple which is all about intuition. So purple is all about intuition and spirituality. And then we have pink. But I'm gonna change this to more of a rose quartz pink. This is quite a bright pink. So I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white. So, and rose quartz pink is all about love for yourself and self-love. So I'm going to see how I can make this. I haven't practiced, so let's see how this turns out. So, Let's get our pink. Pink is quite bright. So let's get some pink. She might be better if I use red and white. So that's very bright. Let's try red. I'm going to see how this turns out, guys. How oh, white right. I've kind of got white here. And the colour white is all for all about purity. Oh, that is dark. Ooh. Coming out very slowly. Oh, squeeze it out. I'm going to mix it up. Very red. So I'll put in more white. Oh no, I mixed it all up. It's a little bit hard to get out, guys. If you're wondering. Hopefully, not too dry. Mix this up. It might have come up to oh, quite red. Right, it's getting more pink now. Those are white. I you guys can see. I should have made the purple first. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay. 
more pinky white. So we're going to draw, I'm going to say caterpillar when I was going to say butterfly. So I'm going to draw a, so I've got my sheet of paper, it's folded in half. I'm going to see how well it turns out because usually what I do is paint one side and then close it and then appear. But let's see how this works, this, these kind of paints. I do use maybe, um, I've got acrylic paints, maybe you have different kind of paints at home, maybe you have watercolour paints that you could use, or kids paints. So I'm going to draw a butterfly. I will show you what I'm drawing. So, I've drawn some wings here. And then we have rose quartz pink for love, love yourself. And here's my butterfly wing. And then there's my a bit more water here. Bit more, bit more. And then I'm going to have some purple, which is all about intuition. I'd love to know if you guys at home what your favourite colour is. So my favourite colour is definitely, I would say, purple. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit with some water. And I'm going to paint the rest of my butterfly wings with beautiful purple. And some more. Got quite some brushes here. Get some more purple. some water in there. I want to make it a little bit more runny. Add some more purple. I'm trying to fill all the butterfly wings. I'm actually going to put, I've just thought of another colour that we can use for our beautiful butterfly. We've got pink, it's called pink, and then we've got purple. And then one more colour that I'd love to use is yellow. So yellow is all about joy and happiness. So I'm going to get some yellow paint. And maybe we can make our butterfly more colourful. I'm going to get one of my paint brushes and make some more. That's quite nice. A circle. This is amazing how we see beautiful butterflies with different colours on there. You may see brown, you may see colours like this, like pink and purples for butterflies. Over yellow for joy and happiness. So I'm going to try something and I hope it's going to work. Usually with this butterfly. I'm going to do more of might need to have a bit more paint on here it dries quite quick 
make it more thicker, more runny. So we have the half the side of our butterfly and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. I wish I had a bit more space on my table. Fold it. Pat, pat, pat. And then, a bit more. <laughs> Need to bite a bit more. The fit might not as work as well as I thought on with these paints, but you can also use different colour paints at home. And then we have our butterfly. As you can see on my one, I think I need a bit more, bit more runny paint. But once you do it at home, you can also fold it in half, pat it together, and pat it a bit more. And then let's try again then you'll see a beautiful butterfly painting. So we use our three colours, so rose quartz pink for self-love and unconditional love, purple for intuition, and yellow for joy, happiness and confidence. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me do a um, lovely painting. Do try this at home and let us know and do share with us how you found painting your butterfly. And if you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions, let us know in the comment box or you can contact us on our social media platforms. Happy painting. This is me, Goldie, signing off for now. Ciao for now.